When, when one segment of retail has to collect a tax and the other doesn't, that creates an unlevel playing field. And in Utah, that amounts to about 10%. In any business, you can't operate at a 10% disadvantage. It just doesn't work. Amazon and all other internet retailers have to collect tax. Otherwise, we will not level the playing field. Government should never be in the position of picking one piece of the retail economy and saying, you get an advantage over someone else. That's not fair and it's not right. And basically, it's anti-capitalism. The little kind of odd legal thing here is that the tax is owed but the consumer is supposed to pay it. Of course, nobody does that. If we just make internet retailers collect the tax that it should collect. In Utah, it's $180 million. Nationally, it's $23 billion. This has huge national implications for our economy. Bricks and mortar stores pay sales tax. They pay property tax. They hire people. We are the backbone of the economy, both in the state and in the nation. Every time you walk into a local independent retailer and you spend a dollar there, 68% of that dollar stays here. Well, if you shop at Amazon, none of that money stays here. Zero, not a single penny stays here. As they pick off one retailer after another, pretty soon they're gonna decimate the economy. And so I just can't stress how important it is first for people to educate themselves and really understand the issues and stop thinking about it as a new tax, which it isn't, and start thinking about it as a fairness issue, which it is. There are so many factors that are involved here. You know, there is the local economy, there is our community, there is the national economy. $23 billion is a lot of money. Talk to your Congress people, talk to your senators, educate yourselves and them because it's, it really has to happen and it has to happen soon. Amazon and all other internet retailers have to collect tax. Otherwise, we will not level the playing field. It's simple.